When we talk about replacing teeth, um, which are missing, maybe maybe two, three in a row or whatever it might be, or maybe a whole mouth in terms of dentures. Now, we know there is dentures, there is um, uh, crowns and bridges, but I have heard something about, um, you know, when the original tooth is gone, uh, the root of the tooth, which is in the, in the bone, in the char bone, also makes sure that the bone, the char bone, isn't shrinking. Just kind of like if you lay in a hospital with a broken leg for too long, uh, uh, all bones, especially the one in the cast, they'll get very weak very fast. And so either way, whichever way it comes, missing teeth equals bone shrinking. There are other things, such as gum disease and whatever, but uh, that's a, a heavy one. So if that happens, um, wouldn't the face get deformed? Wouldn't you start looking uglier when your bones start uh, shrinking and, and, and the arch start shrinking? Is that the reason why our grandmas like, looked like a, a dried out tomato with a caved in face? Um, you know, because they all had dentures, because implants was not around then, therefore our grandmas. Um, tell us a little bit about that, uh, whether, how much of yeah. that is true. You, you are absolutely correct. If you didn't have, uh, some people have what's called anodontia, where they do not have any teeth whatsoever when they're born, uh, just some kind of a strange genetic problem in most cases. And uh, they never form, they form a, what's called a basal bone, which is basically kind of like a, a uh, just the base of your jaw. And that's about it. There is no upper jaw to support teeth because there's no need for it. So in cases where people did have teeth, which most of us do, uh, anodontia is not that common. Uh, but for people that do have teeth and where they end up losing their teeth, then in those cases, the bone does shrink away. Uh, there is more or less the, 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 the bone really has no reason to live, so your body kind of resorbs it away, and sometimes rather quickly, and uh, the face does deform significantly because of the loss of teeth, and, and if, the, if the bone isn't, uh, uh, if there isn't, say, an implant placed or something to help keep the bone there, then the bone continues to resorb until Sometimes patients cannot even wear a prosthesis. A prosthesis cannot even be made. It can be that that severe. Uh, and at the end stages of life, one of the few things we have left is is uh, to socialize and be able to eat meals with our friends and family. And uh, towards the end of our lives, if you're not able to do that, I've had, I have several patients who are, are recluses and hermits uh, because they are so uh, they're so socially. Um, afraid of going out and dealing without having any teeth, and they and they can't have uh, any dentures uh, because nothing will fit at this stage of their lives. Um, and financially, they may not have the resources to get implants to help restore their case. So, so it can be socially and uh, physically debilitating, very much so. Right, and I'm definitely at this moment, you know, more talking about so a person is faced towards, let's say doing a denture uh, versus um, uh, implants or a person who just simply is having four or five teeth missing in the back and it isn't bothering him all that much, never mind that because of it other teeth might go down, get out of alignment and will be, but here are his bone shrinking and he starts looking older. I mean, none of us, you know, whether it's 50, 60 years old guys or 20 year old girls, uh, the truth is none of us really likes to look older than we are. Uh, you know, we're okay with looking as old as we are, but, but we don't like to look extra old and extra ugly. And um, so it, it, it looks like that, you know, keeping your, your bone child, which is, that's what you see, you know, not looking that old uh, has a lot to do with that. And I think a person should really realize that, that not only is it a matter of spending money now or not spending money or of, uh, okay, so I lose my bones, what's the big deal? Um, well, it's a big deal because you start looking older. That's, that's my point here because um, I think people need to realize that. I mean, keep in mind how many millions and millions, billions of dollars are spent in this country <coughs> for uh, facelifts, face creams, uh, you know, Botox, name it. Um, so why not spend a little bit of money on the on your teeth, which actually right there will keep you look better. Yes, yes, I, I agree. It's and again, it kind of goes back to prevention. 
uh, for with a simple, you know, thorough evaluation and uh, a thorough cleaning in most cases. That's what most patients need. And learning how to properly brush. I find one of the biggest problems is that the average adult does not know how to brush their teeth very effectively. Why don't we talk um, about that in? A, why don't we talk about that in the next um, session? Um, okay. I think what we, um, you know, what people uh, uh, will get away from uh, this particular video that it does seem to be true that if you do not replace your teeth with more or less implants, because that's the only way which signifies and stimulates to the body the original teeth, it makes it look like an original teeth and does the body, as you, uh, the bones, as you say, have a reason to keep living. Uh, you don't do it, uh, never mind of, you know, whatever little dental problems you may have because you don't fix it, but you simply will start looking older and that is irreversible.